IFE is not dead. No. Uh -huh. Right? It's no different than when Amazon first came out and they said close all the shopping malls. Yeah. Right? It, yeah. You know, it will it will take time. Our um, airlines have begun to realize, obviously, that the weight and the capital expense yeah. of having an embedded system um, is not necessarily in their best interest, mm -hmm. considering, you know, again, the capital expense, the ongoing cost from a weight perspective, and the fact that everybody's carrying their own devices now anyway, yeah. or not everybody, but a significant yeah, percentage of the yeah. population, and the growth is precipitous. I mean, it's a staggering curve. Yeah. So why carry all of it and pay for all of it if you're an airline? Particularly given the fact that I can't do a lot of things in the seat back that I can do with my own device because my own stuff isn't loaded on there, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. We're talking to folks about some hybrid solutions. Are right? you? Where there's a little bit of overhead and a little bit of Wi-Fi. Okay. And their own device and so forth. Some would have, which have seat backs and how to do that kind of a thing. So you can yeah. do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So it's not your classic, obviously, classic embedded full-blown server-based IFE, but there, there is, there are lots of airlines looking at that, that have that kind of little screen in there so that you can do early, early window content and then mm -hmm. at the same time be able to stream wirelessly to the passenger's own devices. Yes. And the, at the end of the day though, mostly it's folks who have them already embedded um, and so the migration path, like everything else, is going to take some time. Yeah. Nothing is nothing in the airline industry. Yeah. It, you know, happens overnight. Obviously, you're at about 100 aircraft on Southwest Airlines, although installs appear to be ramping, ramping up, up yep. which is which is great news. You, when do you uh, envision having that entire fleet fitted with Row 44? Um, we'll have about. Uh, we're anticipating about 200 by the end of the year. Oh, wow. We should have most of it done by the end of next year. Oh, that's great. And I'd imagine that you know, as as excitement is growing, that Southwest is now hoping to get this rolling as quickly as possible, sure. right? Because that, um, I, I know one of the one of my gripes personally with the airlines uh, that uh, have only gone partial fleet with in-flight connectivity, for example, with the GoGo -Go solution, very, very frustrating as a traveler mm -hmm. to have it on one aircraft and then not have it on another. Mm -hmm. And then, then you can really mark it when you have it fleet-wide. Sure. They're absolutely right. It makes such a difference. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of uh, other airline partnerships, you have obviously Norwegian. Uh, how many aircraft do you know? They, uh, how many 7.3s? Is it 12 yet? I, I, uh, I just right, uh, installed, you mean? Yes. I think we have 14 installed. Oh, you've got 14 currently. installed. We'll okay. Have 40 by the end of the year. Okay. And, and, and they we'll, seem we'll, very pleased with the solution. They're having a great time. I mean, uh, you know, they're loving it. They're in Europe. They're the five. They're the they're one it. now. Yeah. It's just amazing. And when you look at what we're doing from a connectivity perspective in combination with the content that yeah. we're creating, so we have a portal for them. You do. We'll be launching, and uh, we haven't announced it yet, but we'll be announcing destination services throughout all the great cities in Europe. Oh, wow. For the ability to buy tickets to shows and oh, really? all that kind of stuff. Oh, you're really generating revenue then for the airline. And, and creating a better user experience of course, on top of it. Of right? course. I want to go to see this show when I'm going to London. I, I can know. buy it on the plane. I thought about it now. I want to do it now. I right? know. I want to do it now. I want to be able to book my uh, restaurant. That's I want to do all, all that, that fun stuff. That's all that is okay. over there as well. So this is a whole other part of the business. So again, we don't look at this as connectivity. We look at this as a broadband <clears throat> entertainment platform. Right. Which will right. have a series of, it's, it's a multi-legged stool. Right? Um, so obviously, as you say, Norwegian really setting the standard in inter-European mm -hmm. um, and, and, and giving uh, a lot of European carriers a lot to think about in the, in the, in the terms of in-flight uh, connectivity. Um, it, it would make sense, obviously, that you'd be talking with other European carriers. Um, they are, in fact. Yeah, yeah, and now that they've gotten a taste of what's mm -hmm. going on with Norwegian. And, and frankly, if you look at the genius of Apple, it isn't that they are, you know, they didn't sit around and say, hey, let's make a great phone. Yeah. You know, because there's a bunch of phones out there. They said, let's take technology out of the way. Yeah. Let's just make it yeah. easy for customers. I want it to be like I'm flying in my living room. And, you know, that then may, I can do my Facebook, I can watch my sports, I can listen to news, I can catch my baseball game, I can work on my spreadsheet, I can, you know, play with the pictures of my kids and send them to my mom so that she's gets off my back, all, know, right. all the kind of things, but you can't do that in an embedded system. And You know, I want to be able to, like, flying in my living room. Yes, yes. That's what it boils down to, making the passenger experience fun again. 
Just make the time go by. Please make the time make go by. Make it go by because the seats are so tight and uncomfortable that you need a distraction. To be completely frank, I, I, whenever I am on, and I've, and I've said this a number of times, so I'm uh, you know, like a broken record, but it's, it's the absolute honest to God truth. The airlines have now uh, you know, packed out the economy class cabins. Now, of course, with these new swimline seats, they're able to get an extra two rows in these, uh, in these narrow bodies. Um, and it is very uncomfortable, particularly for someone like myself, particularly for heavy passengers, sure. which I wrote about earlier this week. Like because, myself. Well, I mean, you, you know, you're not that heavy, though, no, compared no, to your average now right. in America. And right. we've got truly, you know, a situation where you need a distraction, right? Um, you always have, though. I mean, if you think about it. A book. Well, that's exactly right. Yeah, you, you know, can, yeah. Right? But now people are, uh, we live in a connected world. Mm-hmm. Right? And so at the end of the day, the ability for me to talk to people that I want to talk to and to Facebook with them and to text with them and on their mobile devices and yeah. all the kinds of things that we're doing. Plus, I can watch a movie. And, and by the way, I can do all this stuff simultaneously, Yeah, which is amazing. Which right? brings it back full circle to why the partnerships that you're forging right now are so essential. Because you are going to be duplicating in the, in the sky what we're experiencing on the ground. Being able to watch this real-time, uh, you know, television programming, real-time news and sports, while being connected to the internet, while being able to shop, you're you're, you're like hitting all the all the buttons. Um, what about uh, and 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 this is this is definitely a solution that finally has to have come to age. Real-time transacting in flight. It's done. Uh, what are you doing? What it's done. in terms of in terms of point of hand point of uh, you know point of sale devices and flight attendants? That that transaction needs to be real time, right? So what are you doing with row 44 in terms of the, the credit card situation? Well, I mean, we have extensive experience yeah. with the credit card processing uh, from um, my previous lives. Yes. And, I, well, uh, you were with Vegas. I was at presentvegas.com. So uh, we did right. back-end infrastructure and so forth. For most of our, many of the hotels okay. in Las Vegas, sure. box office systems, sure. retail, front-facing, the whole thing. Sure. So, pretty familiar with all that also from a user experience perspective yeah. destination perspective yeah. and so forth um, and um, so it, you know we'll, we'll be making announcements in that regard shortly as okay. well we, you know uh, this is our you know, at this show uh, at Apex you know we wanted to get the content thing out there so that people understand these are real networks this is real IPTV absolutely 